Okay, if you're like me, uh, you may have uh, had one of the old Y-Life uh, security camera systems, uh, but also, if you're like me, you may have upgraded to Microsoft's latest Windows 10 product here, and uh, after doing that, you may have ended up with something like this, where you have nothing but black boxes. Well, clearly the cameras are detected, but uh, nothing but black boxes are showing up. So there is a way to make uh, the Wildlife cameras work with Windows 10, but you won't be using Wildlife. Uh, as far as I can tell, it looks like the Wildlife software and hardware is a dead product from Logitech, and they have no intentions of uh, continuing with support on this product. So it looks to me like the only way you're going to be able to use these cameras is by another piece of software that is being updated on a more frequent basis uh, and that will tell you the parts uh, tell you everything you need to know about getting that running but first off you do need to install uh, for this third-party piece of software to work you do need to install the wildlife command center on your system you will not be using it per se but you will be using it uh, for just accessing the cameras what you're going to do is you're going to go in here into setup, uh, and you're going to try that again. I'm doing this through remote connection, so. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go through advanced, and um, you're going to do the whole camera detection thing, as you're probably familiar with. Once your cameras have been detected, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to camera information, and you're going to make note of all of these IP addresses. These are all of your cameras that the Wildlife Command Center has detected. So you need to write all these down. Okay. The most important step here is uh, with the Wildlife Command Center is done before you even open the Command Center. And that is making sure that the Wildlife Command Center is running under Windows 7 compatibility. Now, if you don't do this, the experience I had is that that third piece of software that we're going to look at here in a moment will not see those cameras unless the Wildlife Command Center is running in compatibility mode under Windows 7. I have tried and tried and tried and tried to do it without using the compatibility mode and the cameras will just keep getting lost. It will go black. It'll say connection failed, but as soon as I did this and ran it in compatibility mode, uh, everything seemed to be stable. Okay, so now we're going to get into uh, what piece of software you're going to be using, and that is this wonderful piece of software. It's called Blue Iris. Uh, I'm going to quickly note here, this right here, this no signal thing, um, I've been getting that on this camera specifically a lot. See, there it gets restored. I do believe that that issue is resulting from one of my old Logitech cameras. I don't think that it's anything else other than that. It doesn't bother me. I just know it's going to happen. No big deal. So now, um, here we have uh, you know, a bunch of different cameras here. Now, these two, this one here and this one here, are both pan tilt zoom cameras from Foscam. Um, the rest of these are all Logitech cameras. And clearly, they work and uh, took me some figuring out to do particularly the running in emu uh, compatibility mode none of these cameras were showing up none of them until I ran in Windows 7 compatibility mode uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that IP address and that I showed you in the command center and you're gonna select you can label it here if you like network IP okay and then you're going to copy and you're going to paste your IP address into this field. These addresses will go away. You don't need this. Uh, I don't believe. Uh, if you do need those two fields, uh, it would be the username and password. I believe that you're using with the command center, but I can't recall for sure. You pop in the IP address in here and do not hit this. Set this to 8080 and then hit OK. And then what happens is your 
Uh, you can see there it goes again. I'll just use this one because no big deal. It's all the same. Video, uh, I named it a stove door because uh, there's a stove and a door. And uh, here's what it looks like. The network IP configure. This is where you probably want to pause the video and write this down and get a screen capture of it. This uh, HTTPS and then this is the IP address of the, one of the cameras that I've added and then at port 8080, don't hit that. Port 8080 here, uh, it should come up and detect if it's a Logitech uh, and the wildlife port 8080. These are the parameters you need to make this work. Once you do this, um, it should all work just fine. Uh, as far as the username and password here, I I totally can't recall. I, I, I think that this is uh, part of the what you need to authenticate into the command center. I just don't recall what it was, but play around with it. You'll get it to work.